Hello, and welcome to the judgment of the Tori Takumitsu Award 2020. Firstly, some general remarks. Making a comparative judgment between 93 pieces of music is a virtual impossibility, like being in a forest and looking for the best tree. Any such process of comparative selection in art is inevitably highly personal. I have tried not to be swayed by superficial questions of style. Instead, I've looked for a balance between personal expression and practical realization, between freedom and precision, between ambition and skill, regardless of the musical idiom. In these inexpressible differences, I believe artistry can be found. I did notice that one aesthetic dominated most of the entries. Around 80 out of the 93 scores were in a similar manner, where you might say that abstract onomatopoeic effects were favoured over musical content. Musical content may be found within any different form or style. However, it is always clear when it is absent or too deeply buried beneath the surface to make its voice heard. Now onto the four prize-winning pieces. It was my judgment that the four pieces selected, which are in a relatively wide range of harmonic and expressive idioms, all reach a level where I was able to admire the composer's artistry and skill beyond the realisation of a basic goal and the recognition that the art of composition involves listening and learning beyond one's own limits to the wishes of the music itself. Now on to the four prize winners. We're comparing four very different artists with highly distinct visions personal musical preoccupations and very different understandings of what an orchestra is and even what music is. Therefore, in judging this award, I've tried to take into account two things above all, ambition and achievement, plus also the element of personal engagement. Now some thoughts about each of the four prize-winning pieces. Boreas by Xinyang Wang balances a dazzling and refined onomatopoeic sound world with delicate harmonic control. The orchestration is witty, imaginative and capricious and the structure of the piece very successful. Hearing this piece I found to be a satisfying and enjoyable experience. Poem de Midi by Francisco Dominguez, achieves a strong, forceful and striking personal statement in a densely and accurately imagined orchestral texture. The world of this piece, to me, is one of exploded fragments of fracturing and disorientation, powerfully realised. Six Prayers by David Roche uses unusually specific melodic material in an exciting and direct way, with passages of highly personal and intense expression. I found the piece in the concert to be very moving. Sansara by Carmen Ho is a precise miniature landscape with a delicate, refined harmonic sense and sensitive orchestration. I know that all these composers will continue to further hone and develop the mastery of their art. Now, here's the announcement of the awards. In fourth place is Sansara by Carmen Ho, uh, awarded 350,000 yen. In third place, Poem de Midi by Francisco Dominguez, awarded 650,000 yen. In second place, 
six prayers by David Rush awarded 900,000 yen. And first prize, along with 1,100,000 yen, goes to Boreas by Xinyang Wang. Thank you very much.